Here we have an electric circuit that has two elements connected in parallel across the same pair of nodes. We wish to synthesize the bond graph for the system. We start by identifying the distinct potentials. There's a distinct voltage here, 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 and here. We need to establish four zero junctions. One, two, three, and four. At this bottom zero junction, we have an effort source, zero volts. Between these zero junctions, we have elements. Between these two, a battery. Between these two, a resistor. Between these two, we have both a resistor and inductor. And between these two, we're going to have a second resistor. I'll begin by inserting between this zero junction and this zero junction an effort source to represent the battery. And between this and this, I'll insert an R element to represent the first resistor. Between these two, a C element to represent the capacitor. And up here, I'm going to insert between these two an R element to represent R3. And an I element to represent the inductor. And finally, between these two, an R element to represent R2. We can hold off on assigning the power directions to a later step. But if we begin by eliminating our explicit ground, that would be this zero junction right here and anything immediately attached. If we do so, then we can simplify by connecting this effort source directly to that one junction, this R element directly to that zero, and this C element directly to that zero. That leaves, however, this structure right here. which can be represented through an equivalency. We have here a resistor and an inductor which are connected in parallel across the same pair of zero junctions. So we can simplify by using an equivalency. Our simplified bond graph then would look something like this. We would have an effort source connected in series to a resistor this would go then to a zero junction where we would have a capacitor 
and in here we could insert our equivalency to represent the resistor in parallel with the inductor. That equivalency would include a resistor off a zero junction with an inductor. That leaves then some simplification. We have now a zero junction with only two bonds and we could assign power direction on this remaining bond. Hence our simplified bond graph would be an effort source in series with an inductor. That combo would be in parallel with a capacitor which would be in parallel with this loop which is made up of a resistor in parallel with an inductor and that combination in series with a resistor. And there's our finalized simplified bond graph.